Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So today, guys, we are working on the Ford Fiesta, Tom's Fiesta, the blue one. We're gonna bring it in and we're gonna be doing the clutch today, changing it for an LUK three-part clutch. Um, so normal stuff, gearbox out, um, hole that the engine's gotta come down, there's loads of work, loads of stripping down, loads of bit pieces to take off. It's gonna take a while but we need to get cracking. So let's get the Fiesta in, have a quick look at it, walk around, and then we're gonna get cracking. Let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, here we go. We've got Tom's car, Tom's Fiesta. The, um, yeah, this one was stolen, wasn't it? Um, so we've got it back, and he wants to jump out of his red one that, um, that I've done for him uh, a few weeks back now. He loves the car, he does love that red one, um, but, he wants to get back into this one. It's got a bit more of equipment. He drove this for a lot longer. So I think he kind of, yeah, he wants to get back into this one. So the the, the bad thing about this one at the minute is that the clutch is really sort of, well, it's really noisy. Um, and it's really stiff. So we've got to change it for an LUK. Let me just show you. Um... So that's my foot on the clutch. I don't know if you can hear that. That's quite loud. So yeah, you know, we had a, we had a feeling that it was going to be um, needed to be done and changed. So that is what we're doing this morning. Um, we've just got they've left. Uh, a little bit of fuel, not a lot, but uh, that's not no, no, that's no that's no issue really about <laughs> fuel. Don't know how many miles they did once they had it, but it's done 174, 476 miles now. Um, but yeah, that I've got to be honest, guys. I know a lot of people were saying, well, they've trashed it, they've 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 run it into the ground. They haven't. I've got to be honest, it's still a lovely, lovely car. There's, there's a couple of bits that we've got to do to it. One of them is the wing mirror on the other side, um, which is this here. Looks like it's just been pushed off. So I think we can, you know, reconnect that and it's not smashed at all. It's just like, it's just like popped off. So we're gonna, I'm gonna sort that out for him as well. Sort that for Tom and get that done. But apart from that, it's actually been no damage to the car right round. Um, there's the odd scratch and scuff, but I think that was maybe previously there. I don't really know. But after a good clean, this car will absolutely shine up again. And I don't think there's going to be any problems. I think um, Dave, Tom's dad, was talking about getting the, the wheels uh, done at some point um, just to sort of yeah, they're a bit, they are a bit scuffy, and I suppose it'll just, you know, make it his own again. Um, he's getting a lot of security system on this car now, a lot. Uh, he's getting a steering lock um, on over the steering wheel sorted out. He's getting a ghost immobiliser fitted in this car as well. Um, and they are great bits of kit, those, those ghost immobilisers. Um, you just can't, you just can't steal the, even with the original keys, you cannot steal the car. Um you have to put in a sequence of, of, you have to push a sequence of buttons in a certain order for the car to start. And it, it, it's, the sequence can start from one or two, it'll go up to 12. So you can imagine all these buttons you've got to press just to get the, st the car started, but what a safety, um, what a safety thing it is. You just, they just can't, cannot take the car. Only if they lift it up <laughs> on a low loader. They will take, be able to take it. But yeah, so he's going to get some security system on this sorted out. But we need to get this clutch done uh, today. I think he's getting the immobiliser fitted tomorrow. It's Friday, I'm not quite sure. So we need to get cracking um, and we need to get the clutch done, gearbox out and swapped over. And um, yeah, get the number plates on. Just do a few bits and pieces around the car. Clean the seat. I want to clean the interior, clean the seats. He's asked me to give the seats and clean up the interior a little bit for them just to make sure that it's all wiped around um but it, it, it's not it's not a, it's not bad it's not been destroyed and that's the good thing about this 
So let's get cracking, set you up, let's start this clutch.
Right, okay guys, just wanna quickly cut in there, just explain you know, a little bit about what I'm doing. Um, I've completely removed the battery tray. You can see it, it sits there, um, because obviously you've got to get to those bolts to get to that um, uh, gearbox mount on this side. So that has to be completely removed out of the way. Um, remove the drive shafts on both sides. Drop the gearbox oil and then remove both drive shafts. Um, it is a right pain to get in around this gearbox. This has been replaced. This, this, this clutch has been replaced before. Um, and some of the bolts just, just are really strange. So I'm going to have to um, have a look at what's going on because some of them are shorter than others. I, I'm just trying to keep it in the same uh, around the bell housing. This is the bell housing gearbox. So I'm just trying to keep it in the same position as the bolts go back in the same place. And then I shouldn't have any issues really, but yeah, yeah. Um, it's getting there, it's getting there, but it's got, a, you know, it's taking a bit more time. I need to get to the uh, starter motor as well at the back. Uh, a little bit more space now. We've got rid of the drive shaft. We can then get right up into there. You can see the starter motor just there. So we need to get that out of the way. Remove these bolts, get this bracket here. This is the lower engine mount, get that out of the way. Um, and then just sort of, yeah, gradually go around and drop it down. The clutch has turned up, L-U-K, so that's good. So you've got the thrust bearing uh, over here, pressure plate and clutch there. So yeah, this is gonna definitely, definitely uh, make a difference to that clutch. So, yeah, that's where we are. Um, I have actually got Dave, um, Tom's dad. Dave is on his way over. Uh, he's gonna bring me a bacon sandwich and a cup of tea uh, and have a quick chat and obviously have a look at, see, see what the progress is happening. Um, so yeah, I, I was just gonna wait for Dave to turn up. We'll have a, we'll have a quick bacon sandwich and, and then continue get cracking, um, start removing these bolts from the, on the top as well, support the engine and gearbox, um, and then start the separation um, and dropping the gearbox down and out. Um, yeah, very soon. So it's just so much, it's just so much to do on these, these, these clutches. There's not a lot of room as well. I had to undo the actual, uh, undo the um, catalytic converter which is there, I had to undo that because there was a bolt that was sitting just on this front bit here was sitting at the bolt there and I couldn't get it out without removing this out of the way. So yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but we, I am definitely getting there. Um, so let me set you back up. I'll have me a cup of tea and bacon sandwich quickly with Dave and then we'll get cracking. So yeah, see you soon, let's do this.
Right, okay guys, that is the gearbox out. It's done, it's out. Um, it's definitely gonna clean before we do this. Um, we put it back together. But you can see that's the thrust bearing, it's really worn. Um, making a right old racket. So, yeah. There's no wobble there on the shaft, it's solid. So that's good. No issues with the gearbox, but we have got to replace this thrust bearing. So yeah, <clears throat> and we'll give it a clean up inside, give it all the outside a good clean up. Um, I might actually get the jitter out quickly um, and clog up these holes for the gearbox drive shafts and then just give it a quick blast around um, clean up. I think that make it look tidier. Um, let me show you the clutch itself. Oh. So there we go. There's the old clutch. Um, and I just want to quickly show Dave something. Um, there you go, Dave. It is actually an LUK clutch. I know you was a bit unsure whether or not they used it. But they did when they changed this clutch before LUK. So yeah, just want to quickly show you that. So we're gonna take this off now, um, take the clutch off, we'll see how bad it is, and um put the new one on, put it in place, uh clean it all up, and then it's just a reverse really to get this uh back together. Um so yeah, bear with me, let's get this off, get it cleaned up, and we'll start putting the new one on. Let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, let me just explain what I've been doing. Um, cleaned up the actual gearbox itself, put in the new um, thrust bearing, which is there, which just spins really nice now with no noise. So that's good. Um, remove the fill up point, which is down there. Um, yeah, you can just see it. it's just there, that hole there. Um, there it is. Removed it now, because it's easier to remove it whilst the gearbox is on the floor like this than it is to, you know, up, up at the top. Um, so I thought I'd just do that, get it over and done with. Um, so that's done. That's ready. Taken off the old clutch. Oh. And pressure plate. Um, it's not that bad. It hasn't completely gone, the clutch. We knew that because it kept, you know, we're still driving, but those rivets are getting close. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't, they're not that bad, but they're not that far off, if you know what I mean. So it's, it's getting close. So it's worth doing it now. Um, so that's that. Pressure plate. It's not damaged, so... There's no issue with that. But we've got this new one here, all set up. I've got this clutch alignment tool there. So that just aligns the clutch on the other side to make sure that it's sitting in the correct position so that when you put it up, the, the, the you know the, the actual spline, that there, 
needs to be absolutely dead centre. It can't be like that. You know, it has to be absolutely dead centre on the backing plate. Like that. And what that does, that, that tool holds it together. So it puts pressure on it, so it pulls it together. So I know that that is absolutely spot on central. Um, <clears throat> so that when I put it up, do the bolts up, release the tool, then the actual clutch is um, in the correct position. So really, really good little tool that is. Um, and they're not expensive either, these little line-up tools. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's where we are. Um, so let's get this new one back in place, get the torque wrench, and we'll do it up to the correct settings. Um, I've just got to find out what it is. It's probably about 25, 30, I've got to be honest. So I've got to find out what that is. So we'll do that up in a minute and talk it up to spec. Um, and then the gearbox can then go up back into position. Um, but I've got good access to, um, it, it's good. it might take a little bit more time but I've got good access to this um, catalytic converter now. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking the catalytic converter completely out of the car, drop it down whilst I've got the space, um, and then, um, you know, completely cl try and clean out as much as I can inside the catalytic converter. Because we're at this point, really, um, it's, it's never been done, I don't think, and... You know, it's like 175,000 miles. So, yeah, I just think it, you know, I've got a bit of time. I think I've got, I can do it. I've got today and tomorrow to complete this job. Um, so I think if I just take it out now, it's not much more um, time, is it really? Let's, let's be honest. So, yeah, <clears throat> I'll try and get on with that. That's only if those bolts for the exhaust um, clamp, they do come off and release because they look bad so might have to replace those bolts um for the exhaust i don't know yet um let's just let, let me just see how it goes so i'll set you up let's get cracking let's get that up first and then we'll move on and get this catalytic converter down i think um and see how far we go so let's um let's crack on let's do this Right, okay, so guys, this is getting there. <laughs> the new clutch oh, is in place and all torqued up. You can see it there, like that. That's all done. So now what I'm fighting with is this catalytic converter. Um, I really want to get it down, because as you can see, look at, the, look at the crap that's coming off it. Look, look at all that. It, it is quite a lot, quite a lot of build-up, I think, that's inside. So I think it's only going to be good to get this off and give it a good clean. It will definitely help, um, you know, with the engine breathing and pushing through. And it, it, it's just, it's only going to be a good thing. But it's an absolute pain to try and get this out. I've got to be honest, it is a pain. Um, 
but I'm slowly getting it. I think I'm going to be able to get it off. Um, one more bolt on the actual exhaust side, that bit there, which is a bit tricky. Got one off, but to grind it off in the end. So I'm going to have to replace it with some new nut and bolts. Um, but uh, I just think it, I just I just think it's worth um, you know spending that little bit more time to get that off, get it cleaned, get it back on, um, and you know it should it should it should be such a better car um, for it. Um, but unfortunately, guys, I've run out of time. Um, that's going to be the end of part one on this clutch um, Tom's car. Tom's fix got to fix Tom's car. <laughs> Um, removal um, we're going to be jump on this tomorrow we'll continue it um, tomorrow and should should get it done um, hopefully fingers crossed tomorrow but let's just see how we get on uh, but for now that's it I'm done <laughs> we've run out of time so thanks for watching guys drop me a comment if you've got anything to say about today's video Tom's car um, and that sort of side of it and um, yeah take care and I'll see you soon